Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Five, six, four, three. Or uh, go to the Horsham Selling Center in the Village Mall in Horsham, or Glenside Hardware Incorporated, Easton Road and Wesley Avenue in Glenside. Quality maintenance people and the amazing Hokie really is a, 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 an amazing, amazing carpet sweeper. Two-way talk radio. WWDB in Philadelphia. It's time for Midi Shade Clothes' gigantic summer stockroom clearance sale. There's still time to get in on it. And they have some prices you're absolutely going to be amazed at. There are some suits as low as $47. Special group down to $47. Others, $49, $59, $69. Most of them three-piece with vests. Regularly, they'd sell at some of those fancy men's stores for $115 to $175. And when you see them, you will realize that this is top-quality merchandise. They buy from the finest manufacturers of men's clothing all over the country. They are not buying last year's models or leftovers. They are buying out entire stocks. They are presenting them to you at prices normally that are great savings over the regular men's stores. And now, during the summer clearance sale, even greater savings. Sizes from 35 to 54, shorts, regulars, longs, extra longs, short shorts, portlies, fit almost anybody. Midi shade clothes, and the big clearance sale also goes on in my sister's place. That's the part of Midi shade set aside for the ladies. And again, top name brands, some of them with the labels still in, some with the labels cut out. But great buys on clothing at Mitty Shade Clothes, 16th and Calla Hill, a block north of the Vine Street Expressway, plenty of free parking right across the street. A minute before 8 on WWDB, the talk station in Philadelphia, Shadow Lady has traffic. Yes, and on the Schuylkill Expressway eastbound, we have a momentary slope around the Pencoy Bridge. And further down on the Schuylkill, from Montgomery Drive to 30th Street Station, generally heavy but moving traffic. Westbound on the Schuylkill, slow from University up through south. Rosebud Expressway southbound, just momentary delays at 9th Street. And on the Delaware Expressway southbound, under the Betsy Ross Bridge, construction in the center lane, momentary delays in that area. From Allegheny down to the Girard Avenue exit, Heavy traffic. No scheduled openings on the Tacony Palmyra or Burlington Bristol Bridge. This is Cheryl Brody for Shadow Traffic on WWDB. Always watching over you. Eight o'clock. Whoops. Try a microphone. It works better that way. Eight o'clock on WWDB, Philadelphia, the talk station. It's 72 degrees. <laughs> The Atlanta Constitution is reporting this morning that the government investigation of Burt Lance and his finances is complete. That report on the budget director, according to the newspaper, goes to a congressional panel for review this week. Rain from Hurricane Doreen whipped the sandy deserts of Southern California yesterday, washing out a road between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. We talked with Butch Korfman at an all-night gas station in Brawley, California, who said cars were being washed off the road. Four-wheel drive pickup camper. One of my friends was in a car behind it, and he saw it get just plain washed off the road. It looked like a little river. Guy tried driving through it, and <laughs> it just picked his whole camper and everything, swept about 300 feet off the road. The General Accounting Office says 17% of the loans made by Uncle Sam to college students since 1976 are in default. Among the deadbeat former students, a professional basketball player who makes $85,000 a year. This is Comprehensive News from Mutual Radio. I'm John Bascom. Extra hours for extra special savings. That's why all Silo Audio World stores will stay open till 10 every night this week through Saturday. And that's why... Something's up the Silo. But the prices are down. It's the Silo Audio World Late Show and Sale this week and this week only. Straight through till Saturday night, all stores stay open till 10 to give you extra hours for savings like this. 
Save $33 on a 19-inch solid-state color TV for just $267. Save $51 on a Moran stereo receiver specially priced at only $118. Take home a Frigidaire 17 cubic foot no-frost refrigerator for just $338. Don't miss out on this great chance to save money on all kinds of appliances, TVs, and audio equipment. Hurry to Silo for extra savings with extra hours to shop at the Silo Audio World Late Show and Sale. Hurry, time's a-wasting. From the newsrooms of WWTP, the time two past eight, 72 degrees in the impasse, still on. House leaders couldn't round up those needed votes for the budget yesterday, so they simply adjourned the House until today. House Majority Leader Jim Mandarino said he was still three votes short. He contended that about 10 Republicans wanted a vote for the budget, but frankly were pressured too much. That is by their leaders and their colleagues not to support the $5 billion spending plan for the Commonwealth. In addition, several Democrats were missing from the House floor. State Rep. Amos Hutchinson of Westmoreland County was taken briefly to Harrisburg Hospital. He said later back at his office that he felt just a little bit sick and had decided to go to the hospital emergency room. Before giving up for the night last evening, Democrats blocked that Republican-sponsored plan that would have restored all money to welfare recipients. The Democrats voted 97 to 94 to recommit a bill the Republicans wanted to amend with a stopgap proposal. But after all this talking, it's simply an impasse. But maybe today, that impasse will finally be broken. A federal judge has given a 10-day extension to his order, keeping the state from cutting off those payments to needy Pennsylvanians. Judge Don Van Arts Dalen continued a temporary restraining order yesterday concerning payments out of that supplemental food program for the state. The order keeps the infants and children supplemental food program operating, although the state still does not have a budget. The program costs $45,000 a day. By the way, it's federally funded, but state administered. And speaking of the city of Philadelphia, banks in town have thrown sort of a wrench into the state plan to make interest-free loans to welfare recipients left without funds by the budget impasse. Governor Chap said yesterday the banks did balk at the program already operating in 17 other counties because of various administrative problems. This decision leaves almost half of the Commonwealth's 804,000 welfare recipients with absolutely no emergency source of money. Leslie Butler, secretary of the Clearinghouse Association, said this plan was rejected because it would be physically impossible to issue checks to the various recipients. The sad story of two men killed last evening as they stood beside a disabled car along the Schoolkill Expressway west of the city. Police say a state trooper and a tow truck driver knocked about 100 feet when they were struck by a car. The truck driver, identified as 33-year-old James Della of this city, the name of the trooper still evidently withheld until the family is finally notified. Police say the driver of the other car was a 20-year-old Norristown man on his way to a funeral. No charges placed against him. Well, the battle over Bell Telephone's $139 million rate request has entered one of its last phases. Attorneys for Bell in the State Consumer Advocates Office began three days of oral arguments in Harrisburg yesterday before two Public Utility Commission administrative law judges. Those same judges will give a written opinion to the full PUC, which then must make a final decision by October 4. The PUC postponed the rate hike request until that date in order to hold 43 hearings. Bell wants to raise monthly residential rates, and of course it affects all of us, from 41 to $1.27. Double pay phone calls at 20 cents, and also charge for directory assistance. We'll know by October what's cooking. You're with us here at WWDB News. It's six past the hour of eight. And in faraway Florida, at least 13 Philadelphia youngsters, members of a Shriners Drum and Bugle Corps from this city, rushed to a hospital in Florida late yesterday. Police say they apparently were hit with food poisoning. A hospital spokesman said, quote, a lot of the kids are pretty, pretty sick. Lieutenant Andy Clavello of the Dade County Fire Department Rescue Squad in Bell Harbor in Florida said the youngsters, aged 9 to 17, complain of severe tummy cramps, dizziness, headaches, and nausea. Police said the kids apparently ate pancakes together last night at a restaurant in Florida. We checked early today, and they seem to be A-OK. -okay. 
One man killed, another injured last night when a small plane crashed into Tinnegan Township up in Bucks County. The cause of that crash, about seven miles from the Van Sant Airport, still under investigation as of this moment. The victim, 21-year-old John DePete Jr. of Doylestown, 25-year-old Alan DeWitchy of Ottsville admitted to the St. Agnes Hospital Burn Center in critical condition with burns over 60% of his body. But now to see what's doing in New Jersey, Trent authorities say a bomb, the cause of the destruction of a doorway at a branch of the National State Bank yesterday. Luckily, in the city of Trenton, no injuries there. Glass in three of the bank's four entrance doors were broken, and the metal plate behind one of the doors blown more than 100 feet into a parking lot across the street. And luckily there, no pedestrians in the way. It's seven past eight, everybody. And uh, here's the situation for our city and the surrounding environs. Partly sunshiny today, high 85 to 90. Warm and rather humid with showers and thunderstorms likely this evening and again tomorrow Wednesday. Low 70 to 75 this evening, high mid 80s tomorrow. Probability of precipitation just 20% today, but we go to 60 to 70% tonight and again tomorrow. Winds hopping into town east to southeasterly at about 8 miles an hour at the moment, which is 7.5 after 8. 72 degrees and a very sticky 97%. Mutual reports worldwide sports at 8.30. Merrill Reese follows with the local sports. Meantime, 72 degrees and 97%. That's it then from our WWDB News Bureau. <laughs> it's eight minutes past the hour of eight on WWDB. I, I know I just repeated what Jack said, but I had to think of something to say. You wouldn't believe what's going on here in the studio. Uh, the artisans would like to take this opportunity to thank you, the listeners of WWDB, for the great response you've shown to Hair Filler, the ultimate in replacing missing and falling hair. Uh, the owners of the artisans, Jay and Len, feel that uh, there are many out there that would truly like to do something about your loss of hair, but you feel uptight about a noticeable change in your appearance, or perhaps uh, the cost factor may be something that's bothering you. Or maybe you're just embarrassed to look into it. Well, whatever the reason, Jay and Len would like you to call them personally and get rid of that uptight feeling. See, both of them have hair filler, as do I, and uh, they'll explain the whole thing to you firsthand. Call them at 568 2221. That's 568 2221. A hair filler is a controlled method of replacing hair. You have as much or as little applied as you need. You're not going to walk out looking like some rock guitarist. Uh, and because it's a non surgical technique, it doesn't require the services of a doctor. And it makes it well within the means of the average wage earner. Hair filler from the Artisans. The Artisans are at 16th and Walnut in the Medical Arts Building. Call them at 568-2221. 568-2221. Nine and a half past the hour of eight on WWDB, the talk station in Philadelphia. Merrill Reese has sports. Thank you very much, Wynn, and good morning, everyone. The Phillies are in Montreal tonight. They play the Expos. Things are going great for the Phillies. They have... Now won 12 straight ball games, going for 13. We'll have Jim Conn on the mound tonight to go against Jackie Brown. Meanwhile, the Cardinals were beaten last night by the New York Mets 7-4, so they are seven and a half games fading fast. Astros beat the Braves 15-3. Cincinnati 3, the Padres nothing, and the Giants beat the Dodgers 6-3, but the Dodgers are just cruising in on that National League West. Over in the American League, they have a race and a half. They really do in that Western Division where last night Minnesota replaced Chicago as the number one team. Minnesota did it by beating Baltimore 13-9 while the White Sox lost to the Yankees 6-1. So the Twins up by a half. Now the White Sox are in second. The Brewers beat Texas 6-5, so Texas is a game and a half off the pace. And Kansas City, who lost to Boston 2-1, is in third. They are in fourth place. They're two games back. California beat Toronto. That score was 7-4 to four as Frank Tanana had a great game. He struck out 11. Cleveland 7, the Oakland A's 2, and Detroit 13, Seattle 1. Tracy Austin, she's 14. She's already worldwide as far as her reputation is concerned. 
She meets King of Prussia's Kathy Jordan, an upcoming young tennis player, in the finals of the girls 18 and under nationals at the Philadelphia Cricket Club today. Guillermo Vilas defeated Brian Gottfried in the finals of the Buckeye Classic, and the Eagles waived rookie center Dwayne Williams, and they acquired a tight end by the name of Jeff Butts, who was cut by Dallas. That's where we stand sports-wise at 11 and a half minutes past 8, 72 degrees in the Delaware Valley. And now, from around the nation and around the world. And up your block. And down your draperies with today's Hollywood yick, America's number one gossip columnist and man about town, Jackie Violin. Brought to you by National Beauty Supply and their six great stores. The people who make your hair beautiful, your face beautiful, your body beautiful, and now teach you to walk, walk on water. water. And now, here's Jackie. <laughs> Hiya, hiya, my 800,000 fortunate listeners. Good morning, sports fans. Good morning, everybody. I think, fellas, we ought to say today the opinions of Jackie the V are his own. Not necessarily, you know, the usual stuff they say on some of the junk stations like this one. All right, folks, I just want to tell you, right here and right now, I think we'll be Jackie overall today. We're going to cover... Jackie overall. That's right, we're going all over the place. How about Jackie over the hill? All right, speaking about Jackie, you're a wise guy today. Speaking about Jackie, Jackie owes, I get this story in the inky today. <laughs> The story breaks, what, seven days after your reporter broke the story about, you know, she's up there and she was in New York Daily News and she had a young guy named Ricky Licata who sort of thinks she's cute and blah, 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 you know, goes through the whole thing. We broke the story about she was there for six and a half hours boozing it up on Beer Rooney and her mom was three doors down the block of the saloon being pushed out of that particular joint. That's the story we told you. And then a week later, a local paper, just a cute, clean little, cute little story about she's going with Ricky. But what you folks don't know out there, and what Jackie Onassis and her gorgeous Mama Rooney beat by Jackie do not know, are you ready? Ricky Lakata, the guy that the young lady named Carolyn likes, happens to be the nephew of a guy named Ricky Lakata, who's a member of the mob, the MAFIA of Brooklyn, New oh, York. Stop Get that. All right. Get we know out. it. We know it to be the story. All right, guys. Now, folks, I want to tell you the most ridiculous statement I've heard in a long, long time. I'm a little prejudiced. I think this guy's a nice guy. He's Tyrone Powers lookalike. I'm not talking about you, Merrill Reese. I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm laughing, guys. This is, you know, the guy named Himes. You all know Mr. Himes, the United States senator, who, of course, won the election over Billy, Tyrone Power, lookalike green, nice guy. Anyway, Mr. Himes owes himself $2.6 million, and he wants to see what to do, whether he should raise a couple of parties or money to raise, you know, have money from parties, charge 100 bucks a dinner, but he needs the money, 2.6. But the most ridiculous statement of all... Mr. Himes, our senator, contends he would have beaten Billy Green even if Billy had been able to match him dollar for dollar. That is ridiculous, Mr. Himes. Meantime, it's about 14 and a half minutes after the hour of eight. And time to call in the mighty Cheryl with our up-to-the-minute report on what is happening on the highways and byways of the Delaware Valley. Here's traffic. Merle, when are you going to take me to lunch again? We, we bring you in here for traffic, and you're You can bring to... your friends. I'll tell you what, I will take you to lunch uh, sometime after the training camp is over. Are you going to bring Jerry and Jeff again? I'll bring the whole gang. You don't want all them. You're the foot doctor well, who never scared. had any patients and the, and the guy with the bad rug. You don't want all them guys. <laughs> My poor friends. I, I didn't bring them into this. I have nothing to do with this. She brings up my friends, and he puts them down. Gentlemen and ladies. Let's do the traffic. Jack, don't this is, I just asked for a This traffic is report. the Jackie violin portion of the well, Winnie Moore show. It was a minute early for the traffic anyway. Now it's 15 after, and the shadow lady has traffic. Yes.
Schuylkill Expressway eastbound, still momentary delays around the Pencoy Bridge, slow from Montgomery Drive down to Girard Avenue. Westbound on the Schuylkill, sluggish from University up through south, and on the Delaware Expressway, from south of Allegheny down to the Girard Avenue exit, slow traffic, that's southbound on the Delaware Expressway, and just momentary delays around 9th Street on the Rosebud Expressway southbound at 77th and City Line, a defective traffic light. This is Cheryl Brody for Shadow traffic on WWDB. Always watching over you. Defective traffic light and a defective traffic reporter. Oh, right now, though. That wasn't oh, nice. Really, really, I'm only oh, kidding. Really I'm really facetious. Yes, and you want to go to lunch with him yet. Ladies sure. and gentlemen, now here to bring you a message of great show importance. show you who your friends are. One I know. He's premier not. announcers. Here he is, Dennis James. Dennis James. I think he does one of the great commercials. Yeah, but I don't know if I can get my voice that high. Dennis James is no, great. No, this straight baritone, I guess, will do it. Are your feet tired and achy? Pain from constant walking Come and on, standing? more sincerity. Dennis is more... Very sincere. Okay. Listen to this revolutionary news from your nearby National Beauty Supply Store. The people who make your hair beautiful, your body beautiful, your face beautiful. Now they're going to teach you to walk on water. Oh. Uh. Yes, it's the new water sole. Available in sizes to fit anyone. Uh, and they can be trimmed to exactly fit your shoe. It was designed by an orthopedic surgeon who uh, worked this thing out so that you get this tremendous feeling of walking on a waterbed. The gentle massaging action. And remember, if your feet feel good, you'll feel good all over. Yeah, simply insert the water sole in your shoe, boot, or slipper and live it up. They're available at National Beauty Supply Stores. You can call them at 329-7003 for the store nearest you. Start off a new life by walking on water. That's 329-7003 for your nearest National Beauty Supply Store. You're supposed to say, all right, all right. That, that's how Dennis that how generally it? finishes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right? All right. Thank you, Dennis James. Now to get back to Jackie. And Jackie, you, I just You can to... see your local guys working on this creepy station. He says, okay? Okay, he says. Is not that what he says? Yeah, you creeps. Don't you ever watch good stations? Hey, no, I, I just thought of something, Jack. Jackie? Yeah, dear. I, I just, I have a question for you. Quickly, go ahead, hon. This came to my mind. Yeah, go ahead, babe. Whatever what happened, happened to Richard Chamberlain? Chamberlain? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I'm glad you brought it up, kids. A lot of people are saying he's sort of a switch, you know, a switch hitter, shall we say. This is my line in the script. Not and anyway, yours. anyway, Excuse folks, me. I'll answer your question if you want to know it. Uh, no. Dickie Chamberlain's around. He's doing a lot of Shakespeare overseas and here in this country touring. He was up in Stratford on Avon up in Connecticut. The kid's a good kid. He used to have blonde dyed hair. Got it out of a bottle, but he is strictly a brown-haired guy. And latest report. Ports, he's holding hands with Ronnie McDowell. Okay, that's that answers your question. Oh, that's the same right. thing I ever now, heard of. Now, wait a minute. Let me get to the rest of the show here. All righty, folks, I'm Jackie Broadway right now, and I want to Jackie tell you. Jackie Broadway? Yeah, Jackie Broadway. Is that <laughs> like Broadway Jack? Ah, oh, just shut your mouth and let me do the talk, and will you creep? All right, folks, I want to tell you about a guy in New York town, New York City, actually. He's from Potsdam, to be honest. That's not too far from a big guy, Bo. But he's 31 years old, and he's drawing 90 bucks a week in unemployment insurance from the state, in addition to something special which he received not too long ago. Now, he says, quote, he said, Which, quote? He says, a quote, dumb way to talk. I am under quote. the unemployment state law of New York. I can't get a job. Therefore, unemployment insurance is not based on me. I'm in the labor market. I'm entitled to benefits. Are you ready? He's getting them. No kidding. He's stealing the state. Oh, just deaf, dumb, and blind. Excuse the expression. But may I tell you, are you ready? He's a guy who won the millionaire thousand a week for life jackpot. His name is Gary Lashum, and he ought to be ashamed of himself. Meantime, folks, let's go a little Cap J. Hill right here. You know, you folks out there, oh, you rumor mongers trying to break up Chipperoni and Carol Carter. Yes, yes, they're breaking up. They are not breaking up. They attended church. The family that prays together always stays. The brother. They were very right. unhappy looking coming out. All right, then God bless those two kids. They were talking about the bill 
goals he had, and that's all. They're in love, and you people, and you people in the press trying to break up two beautiful kids. They had to How send. How come he's going to Plains, Georgia, and she's staying there? She, he went down there. He'll be back. He'll come back on weekends. No, he's he not went down back. to help out the peanut factory. Who are we going to use? Billy Carter, the beer barrel belly drinking guy. They don't want him running down there. So the young kid Chip will run it, and the kids will be together forever. Mark your bottom daughter on well, that. Well, I don't know about that. All right, folks. Now I'm staying as Cap J Hill. Leon Jaworski, warning against jumping to conclusions, took charge yesterday of the House investigation into alleged South Korean influence buying in Congress. Many people have asked your reporter. Leon Jaworski did all that. He. A lot of people have asked your reporter. Is Cap J Hill? What about the name you threw last week? Bandied about Adlai Stevenson Jr. that he's on the hot seat and nobody read about it or heard about it on TV, radio, or in the newspapers, and we broke the story, folks. The name is still hot, and he'll be up before Mr. Jaworski. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. The name is Adlai Stevenson Jr. All right, folks, we have two groups here dating. I didn't believe my eyes. It was just two weeks ago in New York town when I was up there and I saw a well-known lady by the name of Dorothy Hamill, that sweet, lovely little thing, who, of course, is a great Olympic winner, and all you girls copied her hairstyle last year, but now it's out. And, of course, so is the Farrah Fawcett Major's hairstyle out. There'll be something new, maybe crew cuts for females. But in any event, holding hands at a local New York nightclub with Dorothy Hamill was... Woody Allen. I beg your pardon, Will Chamberlain. Oh, yeah. All righty. Yeah, All right, righty. Are you kidding me? Now, listen, before I give my last little item here, don't step on my closing theme, Mr. Reese. I All right. Dare. As you know, we broke the story uh, just last week. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? About two people, a young girl who had a terrific crush on a young guy who was already spoken for, a little guy. Guy, but a great actor. I'm talking about Dustin Hoffman and Tatum O'Neill has a crush on him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in my closing item, I'm back as Jackie Violin. May I tell you just, oh, four nights ago, Tatum and Dustin Hoffman, according to my reporters in Bev Hills, got together with her daddy. Are you ready? Lover boy, Ryan oh, no. O'Neill, who happens to be supposedly dating Jackie Nicholson's old girlfriend who tossed her out, Angelica or Angelica Houston, but she doesn't know that he has a terrific crush. Are you ready, folks? And the young lady with Tatum and Dustin Hoffman and Ryan O'Neill, the lover boy, that young lady, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say this, Farrah Fawcett Majors. <laughs> Well, when he has done it again, he has come in here prepared with a mighty powerful script and reduced our station to rubble. Can you see the parade of attorneys filing in here at 9.05? Uh, the parade of attorneys every morning at 9.05. We have a, in fact, we've hired a full-time attorney here, you know, to handle just this. Have you well, really? That's right. She, uh, she handles all of this. She, well, of uh, course, there's nothing to do with the suit because none of the people take him very seriously. It uh, just happens to be with a, uh, from a bunch of listeners suing for noise pollution. <laughs> <laughs> this is Two-Way Talk Radio. With Wynn Moore on WWDB. To communicate in Philadelphia, CO37100. In New Jersey, Woodlawn 49400. And in the western suburbs, 3282900. -2 now come alive with Win Moore on WWDB. The Talk Station.